something when God deliver you, there's a process into you completely coming out. And sometimes what determines whether or not you completely coming out is how much you're willing to hear God's word over and over again. Some of us would still be caught up if we would have stopped listening to the word. You can't show up every six months, get a word, and think that's going to What's wrong with you? Who you, superwoman, superman? You just need a word every six months. The devil is a lie. That's how he tricked folk. There are some things, again, man, you got to believe, and then, then tomorrow it may feel like, man, I ain't saved, man. Man, I ain't got this. But you got to know, and no, I believe. And when you do it, he'll, he'll bring you another what? Step. Why we want to make four things it happen all in one night? Pastor, I, I dropped it all that one night. Come on now, be honest. Be honest. It's just, uh, be honest. Did you drop it all that one night? Or was something still trying to cling to you? Come on, somebody. Some of us have been saved for years. But be honest right now. There are still time that things try to come to your mind. Oh, y'all better get real. Folks up in here need help. Stop pretending. Don't be a hypocrite. Stand and let folk know. I battle, but I believe. Some of us that no longer drink, but every now and then. You may want to turn up a butt watch, but you say, I believe. <laughs> Sit down. I know you're happily married, but do you ever think about Doing something you ain't got no. I know you're scared to stand up. I know your spouse looking at you. But look at me. I got the mic in my hand. And you got to keep believing. Is that right? Some of you still miss the club. Friday night roll around, you get to thinking what they doing. You should be asleep. It's 3 a.m., but you up talking about, they playing the last song right now. Luke 18 and 1. This coming from Jesus. Then he, Jesus, spoke a parable to them that men are always to pray and not lose. When you stop praying, don't care who you are, you're going to lose heart. I don't care what position you hold, how long you've been saved, how anointed you say you are. When we stop communicating with him, you are going to lose heart. Anytime watching television is more important than praying, you losing heart. He said, me and always ought to pray and not lose heart. If we don't talk to him, listen to me saying, you got to talk to God about what you're going through. You can't let nothing so depress you that you ain't spoke to your God about it. Because when you do, you giving up. You have to know, no matter what you going through, I can talk to God about this. Can I be real for a moment? Because, see, there are some things you can't discuss with man. But you can take it to God. I know you think your best friend is just all that. But there are some things you can't share with your best friend. Come on, somebody. I know you and your spouse, that's your boo, y'all tight. I get it. I got it. But you can't tell them everything that's going on with you. And expect them not to wonder about you and your commitment. Get real up in here. Get to telling for everything about you and watch how they look at you. Get to telling somebody everything that runs across your mind. Watch how they. Some things you tell for, it mess with their mind. Hold on, sit down. If they hadn't been anointed to deal with certain stuff.
See, God has set men and women of God that have been anointed to deal with certain things. Am I right? But just sharing it with somebody because you think, well, they'll hold it. Be surprised. That brings so many of our kinfolk know all about our business, what's going on with us right now. You telling all your business. And some of us bad about putting folk in our business, then telling them, stay out of my business. No, you put them in it. You told them what was going on. Am I right? You ought to shout, it's tight. But it's right. But it's right. Let's go for the second Timothy. We're going to drive out this spirit of giving up. It ain't going to be able to stay up in this house. Mm-mm. It's got to go. I said that spirit got to get up out of here. Am I right, saints? How many going to help me drive it out? How many going to help me drive that quitting spirit up out of this house? Oh, look at your neighbor and say, I'll never give up. Man, I love folk that got that attitude. I'll never give up. That's a tenacity. You got to have it to get certain things. Woo, somebody know what I'm talking about. There are some good married women up in here that you know you had to have tenacity to finally land that good man you got. Oh, am I talking about you, sister? Didn't but a few stand up. Oh, something going on. Good God Almighty. Second Timothy. We got singles standing by faith. Second Timothy 4.9. Some of us know there are certain stuff we got right now. If we'd have gave up, we wouldn't have it. Now that can be material, spiritually, or what have you. Some of us got certain things right now we wouldn't have it if we'd have gave up. Am I right? Second Timothy 4 and 9, notice what Paul tells Timothy. He said, be diligent to come to me quickly. I need you, Timothy. For Demas has forsaken me. He's quit. He's given up. Well, what's going on with him, Paul? Having love this present world. See, folk lose heart because they fall back in love with this present world world there are some folk in here that were doing wonderful at one time but have allowed the world to pull them back in you said you were done with certain stuff sister I heard you say that but now you've been pulled back in Look how quiet it is up in there. Just look around. Just, 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 just look around at folk that just looking stone-faced. In order to hang with Paul, Demas at one time had to believe. This man had to really be connected to God to be this close to an apostle. Yet Paul says in his epistle, he has quit. How you that connected to the man of God and quit? What happened, Demas? The world. I hear you. You say, Pastor, ain't that not there for me? I don't know. I don't know. I grew all that. You sure? Pastor, I'm above all of that. The way I pray, Pastor, that the world ain't got nothing for me. I never heard folks say that. The world ain't got nothing to offer me. Look at somebody say, watch yourself. Just as soon as you say stuff like that, the world will present something. Watch this. Some folk is ambition. They are more ambitious about being certain things than they are living for God. Come on, some folk are going to hell because they are more worried about being this, that, and the other in the world system to where they don't got time for God's system. 